What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle. This one is all about areas and in particular areas of quadrilaterals, but not just any quadrilaterals, we've got the area of squares. So in this diagram, all of these colored shapes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, they are all squares, okay? And the givens are that the area of B, square B is 81 and the area of square C is 64. Using that little bit of information and the fact that all of these little shapes are squares, your task is to find the area of every single other square. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, let's take it step by step. So first, if we know that B is 81, it has an area of 81, right? That's given and C is 64. Well, they're perfect squares. So let's start by saying that, wait a minute, B has a side length of nine, right? It must, because it must be nine by nine, all right? And then we can also say that C has a side length of eight because it's eight by eight, eight times eight gives you 64. Now, we also notice that according to, to this diagram, we can see that this side length is the just this amount longer than C, right? And since we know that B is longer than C by one, I know that E must be a one by one. So the area of E, I'm just gonna throw a one on top of it, is one, one times one is one. Okay, next we can go to D. If I know that E is a one by one, I know that the length of D is one less than eight, which is seven, making D a an area having an area of 49 next i know that this length right here is one more than b because it's again difference it has a difference of e so that makes this guy have an, have a side length of 10 with an area of 100. next i know that this length right here is one less than seven because again it has a difference of e from this side length of seven making this little side length here six if this side length is six and this whole length here is 10 i know that f must be a four by four making it have an area of 16. okay next we get to g if i know that this length right here is 10 and f has a length of four then i know that g has a length of 14. Right, so it's a 14 by 14 square, which means it has an area of 196, that's 14 squared. Then we get to, I'm gonna jump back to I. I know that this length here is seven, this length here is eight, which means that I has a side length of 15, meaning that I has an area of 225. Last but not least, I know that H can come from this side length, which is 14, and this side length, which is four, added together, which means it has a length of 18, meaning that H has an area of 18 squared, which is 324. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.